Hello you two, welcome to your maths lesson for Friday the 6th of August. As always, pause the video here so that you can complete these warm-up problems. Okay, let's go through the answers. The first question asks you to write a greater than or less than symbol for these numbers. Now, I tell my class that the greater than and less than symbols are like a crocodile's mouth and the crocodile always wants to eat the biggest number. So his mouth is always open towards the biggest number. So 321 and 312 321 is the biggest number, so it's greater than 312. So the crocodile mouth is open towards 321. 78 is less than 87. 82 is greater than or bigger than 28. And 605 is less than 650. Okay, double these numbers. Double six is 12. Double three is six. Double 10 is 20. And double eight is 16. Complete these number sentences. 12 take away three equals nine. 10 take away five equals five. Four take away four equals zero. 9 take away 4 equals 5, 7 take away 6 equals 1, and 8 take away 5 equals 3. Down the bottom we have a jumping castle, and the jumping castle costs $65. So we need to colour in the notes we would use to buy the jumping castle. So we would use a $50 note plus a $10 note would give us $60, plus another $5 would give us $65. Okay, next question. Jill had 12 bones. She fed them to her four dogs. How many bones did each dog get? So I'm gonna share my 12 bones between the four dogs. I'm gonna make sure that I give one bone to each dog one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So each dog got three bones. So twelve divided by four equals three. Okay, we're going to colour in these fractions. So we've got a rectangle that is divided into six, six equal pieces, and it wants us to colour in three of those equal pieces, so three sixths. Next one wants us to colour in two quarters. So our rectangle is divided into quarters, four equal pieces, and we're going to colour in two of those quarters. And the last one, our rectangle is divided into halves and we're going to colour in one half. And down the bottom, colour one quarter of the strawberries. So there's four strawberries, one quarter would be one strawberry. Okay, yesterday in maths we were learning about multiplication and we were learning about equal groups. Today we're going to continue to learn about multiplication but we're going to introduce the array. So some multiples of objects are arranged in neat rows and columns. This is called an array. So some examples you might see of an array are a carton of eggs, um, some seats in a football stadium, or some paints and a paint palette. We describe objects that are placed horizontally across an array as a row. So this array shows three equal rows of balls. We describe objects that are placed vertically down an array as a column. 
So this array shows four equal columns of balls. Okay, we have an array here that we're going to describe. So how many rows of drops are there in this array? That's right, there's three rows. And how many drops are in each row? That's right, there's two drops in each row. So there are three rows of two. Okay, meet the multiplication symbol. It looks just like an X. So three rows of two could also be written like this. Three multiplied by two. You could read this number sentence as three rows of two, or three times two, or three multiplied by two. Okay, here's another array that we need to describe. How many rows of juice boxes are there? That's right, there's two rows of juice boxes. And how many juice boxes are in each row? That's right, there's eight juice boxes in each row. So there are two rows of eight or two multiplied by eight. Okay, here's another array. How many rows of fish are there? That's right, there's three rows of fish. And how many fish are in each row? There's five fish in each row. So there are three rows of five or three multiplied by five. Okay, have a look at this array. Is this three rows of four or four rows of three? That's right, it's four rows of three. Four rows and three in each row. It is four rows of three or four multiplied by three. When you multiply numbers together, the answer you get is called the product. What do you notice about the product in each of these examples? The product is the same. Both arrays have 12 buckets all together. One array is arranged in four rows of three, and one is arranged in three rows of four. We know that three plus two makes five, and two plus three also makes five. Multiplication works the same way. It doesn't matter which order you multiply the numbers, you will still get the same answer. 4 times 2 gives us the same product as 2 times 4. Now I'm going to show you how to draw an array to match a number sentence. So I've got my number sentence here. It's 4 multiplied by 5 equals. So that means I need to have 4 rows and in each row I need to have five. Um, and then I can count to see how many I have all together. So I'm going to start off by um, doing my rows. So I'm going to have four rows. Remember rows go across and columns go down. So at the moment I've got one column with four in it. So my, each row needs to have five in it. So I'm going to go across five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, so now you can see I've got my four rows, one, two, three, four, and each row has five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I can count to see how many I have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. 
So I can count one by one like that, or an easier way to do it might have been to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So four multiplied by five equals 20. Now it's your turn to draw some arrays to match your number sentences. Here I have used pegs to make an array. I have three rows with three pegs in each row. I have nine pegs all together. So the number sentence to go with my array is three multiplied by three equals nine. Now it's your turn. Can you use household objects to create an array or draw an array and write the number sentence to match? Do this four times so you have four different number sentences. Your year two teachers would love to see some photos of the arrays you have created. Take some photos and email them to us. Thanks year two. See you next time.